Okay, so we, we have a Gen 1 gem car here, 72 volt, of course, and we're going to be installing a Ride for Fun lithium battery right there into the hood of the vehicle. And we have the hood all prepped. You can see that the plastic tray has been removed. That's pretty simple. You can see there's some holes here. You take some of the self tappers out. And what this video is to, to, is to help explain what cables are going to go where. So when you get the lead acid out and you should have a, all that stuff, you should have a positive and a negative look like that. This positive cable is going to the controller. So this positive cable will go to the lithium battery. Um, it's not very, there's not much play in this cable. So hopefully the battery will be right on spot for that. Now this cable is actually going to the back where we used to have the lead acid and by doing a continuity test we determined it's this cable here so it had a black jacket there and a positive here because the neg the lead acid were running in series so um, probably just to be prudent we'll go ahead and demonstrate that it is the cable just do a continuity test okay so you see that's the right cable so talking to right for fun it's pretty smart what they're gonna do so uh, what they explained to do so we know that this is just a return cable from the front and we know that this cable right here and it has labeled B I can't read it this negative cable is going to the controller so to get this cable to the lithium battery that's in the hood talking with right for fun we're going to connect this cable to the post here the breaker switch here on on the outside and then we're going to connect this cable to the other side of the breaker switch so that way we're looping the negative from the controller back to the front um, so let me demo these jumpers here I'll install it and I'll show you what it, what it looks like. And then We've cleared the cables off. This is the negative cable from the controller that used to go to the battery position over here. So this negative cable is going to the controller. So we're gonna attach this cable. To this side of the post, facing the rear. This cable, don't let the red fool you because this was just a series connection, but this cable terminates into the hood with a black rubber. You should take a continuity test to make sure you're, you're, you're handling the right cable. So to create, to eliminate confusion, because we're gonna connect this to here, I'm gonna remove this red jacket. So I repurposed the black uh, rubber terminal cover that used to be on here just so the cables color would match up so then this cable is going to go over on this post and we're going to use the hardware that was on there before and secure this up so now what this does is this, this gives us an on off power supply because the gem car as you know if you have a gem car even with the key off this gem car has a nasty parasitic draw and the way you prevent that is a you can open up the hood and turn the power button off the battery which is probably a good idea for periods of inactivity and you can also or use this uh, switch red is in the off position green is in the on position as a breaker so clever idea what uh, right for fun had to do to use these this switch in here so let's we're gonna get this secured and move back to the front um, anyway so the right for fun does land right in the aluminum frame we use some self tappers in the three spots here one two and three to secure it it does land up perfectly and they did include some instructions and part of the instructions said to remove these two pieces that are on the aluminum wall that were preventing the battery from going all the way in and lining up with the uh, whole tabs this piece we had to take a cutting wheel and cut the two welds on the sides and after cutting those two welds it took a rubber mallet whack hammered that right off this piece above it just had two self tappers and those come off 
and with that gone the battery sits in there real nice all right well we got this installed and you know what it's not it's a pretty clean install i do like the single battery in the hood um, given the weight on the front tires got the soc meter cut in right there on the dash and what's really nice is that while i was working on the battery i did have it in the off position so i can flip this back to green and now the this controller is energized so uh you know quality wise i'd say it's a very rugged homegrown battery which i respect and i would definitely put this in my own car um yeah no problems like i said the biggest challenge would be is when you do this installation and remove that front hood have somebody help you and it uh, already driven it and it drives real well hope that helps you guys hope you like the channel take care